Okay, this is uh, January 20th, 2012. I'm recording the memorial ceremony for the death of the Bill of Rights. Come fun. Come on, guys, hurry. Guys, get out of the way! Get out of the way, Christopher! passed away with little fanfare on 12-31-2011. American Liberty was also known throughout her life as a Bill of Rights. She had been ill for quite some time due to an attack by the Patriot Act on 10-26-2001. of 2001. She finally fell from fatal blows on 12-31-2011 when the National Defense Authorization Act was signed by our President. Friends of Liberty will gather to mourn her passing at the Douglas County Courthouse, which is do today. It is impossible to stand before you today and encapsulate freedom's life with one short speech. I feel that no matter what I say today, I'd be shorting freedom and what it means to corporations. I mean, what it means for the people who love freedom so much. We've all participated in freedom in some fashion. Each of us saw freedom a little bit differently. If you walked around and asked corporate America, I'm sorry, people, how they do freedom, you would get different answers. The inscription at the base of the Statue of Liberty reads, Give me your poor, your huddled masses yearning to be free, 
the wretched refuse of your TV shore. Send these the homeless tempest tossed. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Of course, today we know that is socialism, so anyone doing that will be putting Guantanamo Bay. What? Uh, Patrick Henry, one of the founding fathers of the American Revolution, once said, Give me liberty or give me death. He's no longer with us, which tells you everything you need to know. How's that working out for you, Patrick? During the Civil War, Yankee Doodle stuck a feather in his hat and called the macaroni. <laughs> macaroni he bought at a super Walmart, but we all have been given the ability to shop till we drop. As President John F. Kennedy once said, Ask not what corporate America can do for you, ask what you can do for corporate America. Hey. Hey. Uh. Last Monday was a celebration of one of our greatest freedom fighters, and I would be remiss if I didn't quote him today as we honor the death of freedom when he said, Pizza is a vegetable, pizza is a vegetable, thank Congress Almighty, corporations are people. Which is why we say death to freedom. Corporations are people, long live corporate America. Let us bow our heads and pray. Wait a minute. Corporate America is a vegetable. This creature, this creature, is not a part of the 99%. In fact, this so-called creature isn't a person at all. He's a multinational corporation. He's a multinational corporation. People, we're people. Because of Citizens United, because of Citizens United, this corporate. Person, this this corporate corporate person, person has been given unlimited power to affect our elections, to, to, affect our our elections, elections, to write our legislation, to write our legislation, our legislation, and overshadow the voices of real people. I propose that we throw off the shackles of corporate personhood and revive democracy and liberty for the 99%. Can I get a heck yeah? Let's take it Obviously, this is an oversimplification of the many factors that have led to the destruction of our liberty and constitutional rights, but it was symbolic of the way that Washington has unequivocally turned its back on the 99%. Our voices are no longer being heard. Or